so here's FET. So it's FET.colorado.edu. They make simulations, interactive simulations. So if we go to simulations, uh, let's click physics. Since we're doing light, let's do light and radiation. We should see some waves, some bending of light. Uh, there's, there's kind of a fair amount here. Um, let's see, where did it go? Uh, bending light is what we are looking for. There we go. You hit play. It just sort of loads. That's the nice thing about HTML. So you see this thing here. You see bending light. Let's, uh, you know, we could do more tools. We could do prisms, but let's just currently go to intro since that covers everything we need. So as you see here, it starts with air and water, which is the first material you need to work to. Uh, I'll just leave the first material air for both cases. And then the other material glass, you just change it and it'll tell you. So for both, uh, for the setup, leave this normal dash line here on the screen. Grab the protractor, line it up. And so you need to line it up where the, the thick line there is lined up with the dash lines. And then you can see it's really, really level or perpendicular to it. This little line looks almost like an inlay. So now you're ready to go. Um, wave helps to see a couple wave properties, but we don't, we're not going to worry too much about it. If you highlight the, the laser here, it lets you change the angle. It's a little hard to read the angle unless you turn the laser on with that red button. So now it's at 35, 40, about 44 or so. And so you are given a bunch of angles in your data. So I would like everyone to get those angles, look at them for the incident. So the laser coming out, that's the incident beam. There's a reflected beam that's shown uh, to be more transparent here. And then there's the refracted beam. And so that, you know, the, so the, that's what's going on. Okay, so you click on it and you move it. So the first angle should be five, which is pretty darn close. Uh, you can try zero, right? You should see, you don't see any reflected beam. Technically, there is a little bit, but you can't see it. Um, and the refracted angle is zero. That's because you need to actually like have an angle to see this. <laughs> um, and then five is the middle medium tick mark. And then every 10 is a big tick mark. So that should help. And just do your best to read the refract angle, right? If you set it to five for the incident, go down here. It's really hard to read it. And they don't really have a way to zoom in here on your screen. So you just, you know, you just put your head in and it looks like three, four. So you just call it 3.5, something like that. You go to 10, just do your best. Just pick the ones that are easy enough to do for the instant ray. You do your best to, to sort of eyeball what that angle is on the refracted ray, or I should say transmitted ray that's been refracted. Semantics, you know, they matter. As long as you know what you're talking about and you can communicate with the way other people expect to hear it, it's okay. <laughs> and just do your best. Uh, the, the angle should go up to 85. So you see 85 is, you know, pretty, pretty close to that laser getting in the water <laughs> there. Um, so there you go. Go to the data, try to set the laser to that incident ray, and just verify that the, the refracted ray is pretty much at that angle. So you measure from the zero. All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye.